Hi, boys and girls. My name is Jane Giroux, and I'm so happy to be reading you a book today. I've chosen one of my favorites. It's called The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Now, I'll tell you a secret. It's written kind of like a children's book, but it's really for adults too. So here we go. The Giving Tree. Now this is a special piece of artwork that my son did when he was very young. I know it looks kind of messy. Once there was a tree. You can see the tree. And she, the tree, and she loved a little boy. You can see the little boy's just his foot here. And every day, the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves. The tree's leaves. And he would make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk. Can you see where he's climbed here? And swing from her branches. Doesn't that look like fun? You can see his little shoes here. He liked to climb with his shoes off. And he would eat apples from the tree. Oh, he's having a good time, isn't he? And they would play hide and go seek. Do you see him hiding over here? And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. See, he's found a nice, comfortable place to take a little nap. And the boy loved the tree. Isn't that sweet? He's given the tree a big, big hug. Very much. He loved the tree very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. Do you see what's happened to the little boy? Time went by. There he's growing up, isn't he? Uh-oh. And the boy grew older. What do you see there? The boy has some company, doesn't he? And the tree was often alone. Then, one day, the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money, and you will be happy. Is that a sad conversation? And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and, and carried the apples away. And the tree was happy. 
He was able to do something for the boy, wasn't he? But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm. I want a wife and I want children. And so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so, the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. There he is, he's carrying away the branches. He's gonna build a house. And the tree was happy. He was able to help the boy again. But the boy stayed away a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy, she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and he made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. After a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm so sorry, said the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left to give. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come boy, sit down, sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. I hope you've enjoyed the giving tree. Thanks for sharing it with me.